Chapati and in this video I will be talking you about the difference between group by and group by all method in PySpark and Spark SQL in Databricks. Okay, so before going to the video, I would like to introduce my course that is Deep Dive in Delta Lake project using PySpark and Spark SQL with Databricks. Okay, so here you can see it is the introduction of the course, right? And after that, you can see now we will see how many, you know, how many modules, how many chapters do we have in this course. So in this course, we have first chapter that is chap first module. We can say here I have told you about the basic stuff of Delta Lake, how we can get a Delta Lake, how about his work, vacuum, what is history load and other stuff. Right. Up, apart from this, the second module is end to end project end to end project here you can see it is of 14 hours of content and 43 sessions so first is the architecture of the video then uh, you know the understand the requirement create blob storage how to upload the excel files and the stuff then here we will be we will be seeing uh, you know what is mount point how we can create the mount points and all other stuff then read sql table from azure sql read data from api read sql from spark file streaming then you know other stuff we have like framework to validate the schema across all the sources improvements on ingestion part so everything i i have i i have you know worked using databricks only and pyspark and mostly mostly pyspark and some of the cases i have used spark sql also correct then uh, i told you how to fix the small file issues in the raw and clans layer how to create a fact dimension tables what is the schema i have applied over there and other stuff also, I have used how to schedule the jobs using Databricks. So uh, all other stuff are present over here. I hope that you will go and take this course. Already around 200 uh, me me members have taken this course. So if you would like to, please go and you know check check out this course. Now we'll go with this video or with this chapter, right? So you can see we have this schema, right? Data and all other stuff. You can see we have ID, name, age, year, and all these data we have. Now I am saying to you that, hey, I need to understand uh, the rows. I, I need to understand how many rows we have on basis of year column. So usually what you will write, you will write like this. What? Group by right and here you will use what year right because i need on basis of year and there i will use count because i want to count the rows correct so this will be oh star is not needed sorry my bad okay and if i do here display here then you will see that it is you know it is done cool now if I am saying you, hey, I need, I need to understand how many, uh, you know, I need to understand on basis of year and age. Then what you will do, you will write here age, right? If I am saying you, hey, I need, you know, I need on basis of name. Right. If I am saying you, hey, I need on basis of ID, then you can write like this. It means when suppose I am saying you, hey Sagar, I need to understand the, uh, I, I need to find out the count of rows on basis of all the columns, right? If I want to check the duplicate. So if you can see here, you know, this is the duplicate now I can see. So here you will need to, and you can also assume that we are having 20, 30, 50, 100 columns. Then will you write that those 20, 30 columns? No, right? You won't. I mean, you will not write those uh, 20 columns or 100 columns, you know, manually. So what is what is the another hack? So let's try out this way. Maybe it will work. We'll see whether it's, it will work or not. Oh, it is not working. In whether usage of percentage, I mean, try in aggregation. OK, we cannot use this. Cool. No problem if I use this then we will see whether it is working or not you can see we are having here six it means it did not give me any columns wise you know it did not give me any column wise so if i put here a star also it will throw me an error okay no okay no problem now how i can do that then so we have you know df and we have a method called columns right so i can use this it will give me a list Right, so why can't I use this and put it over here?
you can see it is giving me the same output now suppose i am saying hey saga i need to only you know i need to only uh, 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 group by on basis of these three columns starting three columns then what i can do i can write like this i think it should be two uh, three only right so i can copy this right and i can put it over here likewise you can do multiple you know manipulation based on your need okay that's pretty cool some people use spark sql also some people use is sql right then in that case how we will do will understand so first of all what i what i will do i will try to create a schema i mean a view or temporary table you can say right so i will use uh, let me write like test cool now this is my this will act my this will act like a table nice so what i'll do i'll just write here percent sql select a star from this table and run this wow it is running fine okay now if i am saying you hey i need to understand the count right i need to get the count so usually usually i want to write these many columns right so let me copy it let me put put it over here then comma comma and here also one comma since and also i need to write like this all these columns right so i can copy this i can put it over here cool ideally this count should be at the last now if i run this you can see we got the same output right which we had received here correct so let me remove all this stuff correct this is the same output now you can assume the same case that we are having 20 of columns then if you you won't be you will not write here 20 of columns right also see here we have we are passing here we are passing uh, you know like this id name age and other stuff right so instead of we can also use number 1 2 cool it give it give us the same same result so i ideally uh, the indexing start from one number not from the zero here in the sql right and we can write like this 1 2 3 4 and so 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 another another thing is that we can use here group by all method also so if i run this then you will see it will give me, give us the correct result so it means whatever you know we have select over here right it will use the same thing right it will use the same thing now if i use if i remove this name also if i remove this a id and if i run this then you will see that we will be getting here 23 ages and you no know, 24 is repeated four times let's verify the data 24 is repeated four time is it yeah this is two this is one and this is one so it means total four times and that is 23 and 3 9 will be in one one time right that's what we are getting so it means in see we have a different ways to solve this problems you know to use the group by if you are using sql then you can go with the group by all or you can use like 1 2 3 karke also you can use it otherwise you know you can use you can use if you are using this uh, pyspark code then you can go with the list like this right so i hope that you have understood this concept uh, you know i have created around 70 plus videos on this series on this playlist so please watch from the starting purpose of some videos are in hindi in the starting but later i started in a, i started publishing only in english so please go and watch out those videos it will definitely help you a lot to understand the at least the basic of pyspark how we can write how we can do some manipulation stuff other stuff right if you watch one by one cool do not skip any video i hope you have loved, loved this chapter also and chalo thank you bye bye